Hello again, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to show you what I had bloom for me last night. This is Rinkavola Jiminy Cricket. The clonal name is Superbug. And she is a cross between Rankolalia digbiana and uh, Brassavola nidosa. So it kind of has traits of both of them. It has the kind of long spindly flowers like you would see with the Brassavola nidosa. And then it has this kind of luxuriously frilly lip right here that it got from the Rankolalia digbiana. And uh, the scent on it is really, really mouth-wateringly good. It's probably one of my best orchid smells. Um, well, one of the best orchid smells in my collection. Uh, it smells to me like kind of something tropical, like maybe tropical like laundry detergent or something. But uh, my wife says it smells more close to gardenia. And I'm not really sure if that's true or not, but the smell really is very wonderful. And uh, it, it has a familiar familiarity to it. I, mean, I can't really describe what it is exactly I'm familiar with with this scent, but um, yeah, it smells really great. Very powerful too. It'll smell up a part of your, your house or your kitchen. So here she is. I'm gonna show you the plant. Actually, what else is I going to say about her? Yeah, so she looks like she makes multiple flushes of growths a year, but this is the first growth, uh, set of growths that have actually made buds for me. I have another bud forming back there, and I've got another one right here. So I think she's capable of blooming quite a few times a year. It's just my particular plant was having issues, I think, with either not getting enough light or it was a watering issue and I think what really helped her out uh, with this set of growths is that I put her in hydroponics and why I say that is because her roots were kind of really covered in algae so it was difficult for me to tell when to water uh, her in the old setup in this setup I pretty much know that the roots are dry when my wick is dry, so I literally just take it out from the reservoir, fill the wick. If that's dry, I'm like, oh, okay, it's probably dry. So I am I for sure watered her a bit more on time uh, with this method of potting than I did um, in just a clear plastic pot and pumice. So, what else was I going to say about her? So, I think she's capable of blooming a few times a year. Um, I don't have proof of this yet. But we shall see, and um, I have another new growth popping up here that I think should pop out with a bud. So that will be twice this year that she bloomed for me. And other than that, I don't have a whole lot to say about her. Uh, she is pretty tall. I'd say she's about 10 inches tall. And um, I don't know, the blooms are pretty big. As you can see, this bloom is quite large. So if you really like Brassavolas and you really like uh, kind of floofy, freely lipped Cattleyas, this one is right up your alley. I happen to got mine from orchids.com, but um, I can't say I recommend them as a vendor. I've gotten a few nice things from them, but it seems like they're kind of hit and miss. Don't don't get mad at me, orchids.com, if you're watching this, but <laughs> you need to improve your Cattleya game just a little bit. But um, your Phalaenopsis game is pretty good. But with that, I'm going to let you go. You have a nice rest of your day, and uh, I'll make another video when my Zygopetalum Advanced Australia blooms, because that is also quite a really pretty orchid. So um, have a good one. Bye-bye.